you have a Shimano EP801 motor, you should know that Shimano has made a significant change in the output of that motor with their latest firmware update. Now, I did cover this in an earlier video. You can check it out there and where I really looked at the power and the torque and the multiplier and a couple of other changes that they made in the boost mode, uh, which is really the maximum power and torque output that that motor will provide. In this video, I'm gonna get into a little bit more detail and some of the lower settings and tell you a little bit about what really happens on the trail. Now, the first thing you'll notice with this firmware update is uh, two things. One is you're gonna feel a lot stronger, and two is you're gonna go through that battery a lot faster. And I learned this my last outing with this new update in the EP801 motor. I use that battery much faster than I had ever before. So let's look again at the power and the torque outputs of this motor. Of the, of this motor. And, and I did run the test again with some pretty high uh, resistance levels. So the results are, are slightly different than if you looked at the one before. But uh, you can see that the power is uh, not that much different than the previous version of the firmware a little bit of boost uh, in the boost mode, a little bit of a uh, higher power mode, power than, than it had before. Torque, uh, slightly higher as well, maybe a little bit more early on. But what really changed with this update was the multiplier, and that is the amount of power that the motor puts out uh, as a result of you putting power in. So a multiplier of one is you putting in a uh, given amount of watts and it does the same thing. It matches your watts. If it's doubling what you put in, then that's a power multiplier of two. So in the case of the EP801's latest firmware, the, the power multiplier is, is somewhere near five or six, depending on how much power you're putting in or how much effort you're putting in. Lower effort actually gives you a higher multiplier. And as I mentioned, I experienced this when I just took it out for a ride this last week. I did a couple short rides. I didn't think I was going to use the whole battery. And lo and behold, at the end of the second ride, I looked down and at a point I thought I'd have 40% left. I was down to almost zero. I've been riding that bike for quite a while. So I knew that under normal conditions, I wouldn't be using that much battery. Uh, so I really wanted to bring it back here and test out what was happening with that motor. But just for comparison purposes, I think I was getting like 4,000 to 4,500 feet of climbing with the previous setting on boost mode. In this case, my numbers were a lot less, uh, less than 3,000 feet of vertical in, in boost mode. What I was really interested in is something Shimano has advertised, and that is that their trail mode is more of a natural feeling mode. Now, if that's the case, it's not something you can adjust with the software. It's something that's already kind of built into the firmware. And you kind of have to live with the power and, multi and torque curves that they give you. You can adjust what level they are, but you can't really adjust what happens at each RPM. And that's what I'm testing. So I'm gonna show you those results. Before I show you that result, I, I really need to explain what I mean by natural feeling. And, uh, and also, if these are the kind of videos that you are enjoying, please let me know, give it a thumbs up, give me comments or questions, particularly if, if uh, you've got any questions on, on what I'm explaining and, and trying to present here. And please subscribe. To explain what I mean by natural feeling, I am gonna show you three theoretical examples. And I'm really focusing on the multiplier because it's the multiplier that we feel when we go out there and ride the bike. The way these bikes are built, you push on the pedals and it propels you a certain amount. The more in the multiplier, the more it propels you. So I've come up with three, three, three theoretical graphs here. The first one is what I call the party curve. These are not results, these are just my uh, way of explaining a multiplier. But if the multiplier is really high at a really low cadence, and, uh, and your input isn't very high, so you've got a multiplier of say five, which we can get some from some of these motors, right from the bat, 
you're going to feel uh, like that's you're, you're not going to be giving out much power. You're not going to be using much of your own energy and you're going to be zooming along the trail. And this is a great way to get to the top of a trail without using a lot of energy. So you can just party down the, down the trail and you know, enjoy the downhill. So that's why I call it the party curve. The next curve I call the Superman curve, and this is sort of the opposite. This is where the motor kind of limits how much it assists until you start putting in a lot of power. And then not only does it match it, but it does more than that. It gives you a lot of power. Uh, it's a little bit easier on the motor because you're moving pretty quickly at that point and it, the motor can cool itself and it's not using as much torque to do this. Uh, so, so this is why I call the Superman curve because it does make you feel like Superman when you put a little bit of extra energy in, you get a whole lot of extra out. Now the final curve is what I call the natural curve. And this is where the multiplier is consistent all the way across the cadence range. And it's consistent uh, based on your input. So no matter how much you put in, it's going to match that at some level whether it's giving you 50% of what you put in or it's 150%, it's the same amount throughout your effort range, throughout the cadence range. You don't feel any kind of bump of power early on or loss of power or bump later. It's very natural. That's why I call it natural. It's very consistent. So now let's go back and, and look at the test I did and compare it, the boost mode to the trail mode. And we'll go through power torque and the multiplier. So power, you can see the boost mode was giving a lot of power. In trail mode, it's not as much. Boost was starting out at about 300 and it boosted all the way up to 550. Whereas trail just gradually increased from 100 to 200, a lot less. So you definitely can be using a lot less battery, uh, but it also is also sort of a gradual increase without a peak in there. Now, if we go to torque, you'll see that boost mode did really put a lot of torque out early on, uh, and we felt that. Uh, you feel it in, in the motor when you're, uh, when you're riding on the trail. Um, the trail mode is much less. Again, they've just really lowered the power and torque output of the motor in trail mode. But there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that in a second. But trail mode torque is limited to below 30 all the way through the cadence range. This is where it gets interesting. The power multiplier of boost, as we saw earlier, is, is five. Sometimes I saw numbers uh, six or higher, uh, but it is really high early on. And that is that party curve kind of uh, uh, thing, the um, description I gave earlier. But the trail mode is very consistent. It's about one, the way they've designed it here. Uh, so if you're putting out 100 watts, it's giving 100 watts. If you're putting out 300, it's putting out 300. And it does that through the entire cadence range. So you're feeling like it's your own body. This is one of those kinds of feelings. I call it natural because you really don't even know the motor's doing anything other than maybe you hear it uh, or you're going faster than you normally would, but it, it, you're not feeling the motor per se. You're feeling your own effort, but it multiplied. Now I did run a test. This is all using the mode, the basic mode, they call it. And if you watch my earlier video, you'll see there's a basic mode and then there's a fine tune mode. So I went into fine tune mode. I set it at the medium, which should be equal to the trail uh, for, uh, for comparison purposes. And they were very similar in the output, but the multiplier was not as even. And you can see that here, there's a little bit of a hump. Uh, it's a little low at the beginning and at the end. So Shimano really did do something with their trail mode to make it feel natural. If Shimano was really aiming for a natural feeling motor with their, their trail mode and perhaps something that won't use your battery really quick, I think they nailed it with the trail mode. So try out trail mode. Uh, it, it, it's what I would call a very natural feeling mode. Now I've, I've done another test on the Fasua ride motor. So if you're interested in seeing that, please subscribe, uh, hit notifications so you'll be notified of that coming up. I've also got another bike in the garage that I want to run a test on, very different than the other bikes that I have. So I'll leave that as a surprise for later, but that will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.